What's that guy doing, bro? He just hit the curb. We got Mr. Neil taking off for the night. Good morning, everybody. I had school this morning. Well, I think right now we're doing some hybrid classes. So basically, sometimes we'll do class online or just like our work online and then we'll go in person for a little bit. I didn't finish my welding because it locked me out of my account for some weird reason. So now I have to go straight to the school. That way I can like go talk to a counselor or figure something out. But we're right here in the Camaro. We're gonna get some parts real quick before we go to work because they're actually located right next to me. Uh, I'm gonna go drop off the parts and then I'm gonna go to the school. That way I can get this whole online thing situated. What happened, Neil? <laughs> what happened? Why are you looking like that? I queeped. What the fuck? I'm kidding. <laughs> fuck this piece of shit. Rubbermaid cooler. <laughs> All right. Oh. Ugh. Looks like a straight animal. <laughs> this kid is not okay. <laughs> He's not okay. Somebody's going to have to put him in check. Oh, and it's going to be Chandler because Costco didn't have his golf club like he wanted. Pretty much. Seaway. Bork? <laughs> Damn, clean ass. I think it's a bore. Nice ass truck, too. Got the Camaro. everybody we had no success getting golf clubs they didn't have what we needed i'm pretty upset but it is what it is and we're gonna hopefully survive this yeah i when you see us in the videos like like clinching up or whatever and we're in the car with neil and he's driving it's because this kid has been in at least six accidents and i kid you not and, uh, no you actually well you did he's reversed into people and stuff no that was 21 Oh, okay, that was this year. Okay, well, my bad, my bad. He actually only crashed so far twice this year, so. Within like two weeks of it. And within, <laughs> within like two weeks of each, of each other, he's crashed twice. All right, everybody, I just finished up some breakfast. I'm getting some gloves right now. So I can actually work and have clean hands because I always hate having to wash my hands 50,000 times just to get in a car. We got a tire job right here on this little Ford. Guys, please do not let your tires get this bad. That is very dangerous. And just so you know, the Jeep has 199,966 miles on the dash. So when we say this thing is clapped out, it's not a joke. If you saw the stuff that this Jeep has to go through, you'd be shook. We're gonna we're gonna start actually putting videos in of, uh, or maybe even making videos. Well, yeah, we'll make videos of this going off-roading and stuff. Everybody would, okay, don't hit this lady, please. Um, you would be seriously, in a state of shock of what this Jeep goes through. This thing has gotten airborne. It has actually Multiple had- Multiple times. It is actually, okay, you're gonna hit this lady. It has actually had a wheel fall off before. It's like, <laughs> we're not kidding. We have been driving and a wheel came off. So, in the and we've survived, barely. This Jeep has been through so much. Ball and it's it. fine. I wouldn't say, I mean, it's it's all right, you know? It's, it's not too bad. Okay, let's not die. But yeah, so this thing, <laughs> It's like the most clapped out Jeep you could probably ever imagine. It looks pretty good to be honest. It has like nice wheels and and like a bunch of nice stuff on it But it is literally abused daily <laughs> We got a clean type R that came into the shop today for some work It's humid as shit today. I'm literally dying like the clothes are sticking to me. It's that humid It's super bad, but right now we're going to another dealership. We're gonna get some more parts I'm gonna show you guys some more cars Got this clean little Mustang right here 
part, everyone, we're arriving to the dealership. As you can see, all the cars that they have. I think this is like one of the biggest Rydells. I'm not too sure though, but I think it's one of the biggest Dodge dealerships. We got a little Gladiator right here, but we got a wide body Hellcat. This is pretty clean, not gonna lie. Today's Hellcat day, we got another one right there. They don't want all this waddle. They don't want all the waddle? They don't. And then there's Eric! Who's Eric bum? Alexander Garcia! Bum 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 <laughs> fuck the 5-0. Oh. oh. No justice, no peace. Fuck the police. Oh my god, look at this. See? He's not slowing down. Yes, I am. Oh my god. Oh, no, I'll, no, stop. So while we were driving right now, I don't know if you can see it in our rear view mirror, but there is a bus, and Neil almost sideswiped it, like, full on. So he first almost slammed into the back of it, and then he almost sideswiped it. <laughs> Why would you oh, we're gonna die. Good lord. You can't keep saying that, Neil. What's that guy doing, bro? What's that guy doing? Oh my god. Just got some food with Neil. Say what's up, Neil. Some Chinese food. They always got nice cars right here, too. It's pretty clean. They have a Camaro that's black. But they have some like, uh, they have a wrap on it, pretty clean wrap. I used to come to this park as a kid all the time. This is the George Lopez house for you guys that don't know. This is George Lopez, this is where they film George Lopez. All right, we're going to drop off this carburetor right here. We got Ivan's clean ass FRS right here. All some T's. It's wet, I like this car. It's got the louvers and the little wing. We always see planes flying in and out. Uh, you guys can't really see any planes though, sadly. All right, I just dropped off the carburetor. Right now, I mean, I'm hungry. I'm ready for lunch, to be honest. So we're gonna go back to the shop. We're gonna go back to work and see what else we gotta do. And then if we can get lunch, hopefully we can get lunch. Uh, I went to work a little late because I did have some school shit to do. So we will see. You guys might see me crash right now because I can't see anything. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens when we get back to the shop. Uh, I'm gonna try not to fill up these videos with too much fluff, if you know what I mean. Like, all I'm not gonna sit here and talk so you guys can just stare at my face or stare at whatever I'm pointing at, you know, because I feel like sometimes that might get a little boring. So I'm gonna stop talking a lot to the camera like this and just showing more details of like what's going on and what's around. That's the burner car right there. You guys can get a better view of the planes. Hard to reach over and film. I'm sorry, guys. We got a pretty clean slammed Honda right here. Thing looks pretty nice. We're actually thinking about getting a JDM car for the channel. We're gonna build it, have fun, and just do some hood rat stuff. So we'll see how that all goes. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see it that good, but that Rubicon. I did a job similar to that. That honestly might be the same one that went to the shop when I put those bars on. You know what? I did do the bars on that. So those red bars right there, those traction bars and stabilizer bars, came to the shop maybe about a year or two ago and we did that work. I think I'm here like five or six times a week. It's super bad for my health, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm trying to gain weight. All right, everybody, we're on Big Debo's bike. We're closing up right now. <laughs> we're getting ready to call it a day. Y'all see Debo's bike in the cut. The Camaro right here sitting nice and pretty. We're about to go to Chandler's right after work. I'm gonna we'll finish closing up and then we're gonna go straight to Chandler's, like I said. All right, Neil and I just got done with lunch. We got some Chinese food. And now I think we are about to pick Eric up. And test positive for COVID. We are going to pick up Eric right now. Then we're gonna go back to my house. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we are going to wait for little nasty aka victor to get off work get the camaro and then head he runs on a different time and he's always just if, if you tell victor to be somewhere at five o'clock he won't be there until 6 30 and we're actually all kind of the same way we work on a different time except neil neil's actually the only one that what are you doing neil <laughs> neil neil is the only one who 
set, sticks to a time, surprisingly. If you tell this kid to be somewhere at six o'clock in the morning, he'll be there at 5.30 waiting outside. And, and that's been every single time. And we're about to get hit. Oh, yeah. Now <laughs> uh, you can see, we got the third amigo here. Oh, that motherfucker. <laughs> Eric's gonna, he wanted to like use a room with Neil, so I guess that's what, what? they're gonna be doing with it. <laughs> here in my backyard right now, and <laughs> and, so and Eric is trying to figure out how to do math right now. What is eight times three? Tell us, come on. Seriously, figure it out. We'll give you time. <laughs> no, nah, tell us. Eight times three, eight times three. <laughs> eight times three. Neil. You're fucking dumb. All right, Neil. Neil, what's what's eight times three? 24. Eight times two? 16. All right, eight times four? Eight times four. 32. All right. Damn, you're smarter than Eric. <laughs> hey, we just pulled up right here to Chandler's. Eric's butt hurt. We got Neil. got Chandler. <laughs> Don't be mad, oh, fool. He's be extra butt hurt now. Hey, got the Corvette, there. Jeep. I mean, not the Corvette, the Mustang. I'm an idiot. Oh. Corvette's right here. Oh, Seaway. How much did he spend that day? We're about to wash the cars, watch out. We're about to wash the Camaro today. I don't know which slut I'm gonna make work. Probably Eric or Neil. I'm gonna let them wash my car. You know I be moving. We're in the foreign, I'm cruising. The money I'm speaking to fluent. All of my business booming. Stacking my cash in abundance. All of my family funding. Finally got what I wanted. Life is amazing, I love it. Everyone know that I run it. Yeah, look at me now, I came up. I've been thinking back then when I almost gave up on the game. Cause I never got in my way. Never got my mama whip on the driveway. I've been making all hits on a Friday. Back then I was getting like no plays. I'm never gonna change no Kanye. Gotta get a Lambo like Green Bay. I made a lot, but then I gave a lot. And now I had enough, but I've been keeping up. Damn, everybody. Look how bad my tires are. They're extremely bad. They're off-rounded. I mean, you guys can't really see it because it gets dark, but it, it's they're really off-rounded. I could feel them bumping so much and, like, chattering and stuff. It's annoying. I'm going to get some new tires. Drag pack in the back coming soon. The update, we finished everything up. We've kind of just been kicking it and discussing future plans for the channel. And we're going to get Wingstop. We got Neil in the Jeep. We're getting right here to Wingstop. Oh, uh, Neil's parking right next to Chandler. He's for sure trying to cause an accident. Hey, Chandler, do you got a microfiber? Uh, yeah. Can I borrow it, please, yeah. for my windows? Musty. Yeah. Musty, musty, musty. We got Neil trying to figure out what he's doing. We got Eric inhaling his food. Chandler's being all nice and etiquette. The same with me. This oh, fool shit. completely inhaled There's all the There's the difference wings. between class and then these two. Exactly. <laughs> he just hit the curb. We got Mr. Neil taking off for the night. for the gram uh we're about to call it a night we've had busy days today all of us we got chandler taking some pictures of the cars i took a couple flicks too um i'm gonna go home we're both gonna go home and edit some videos that we got for you guys all right with that guys we're gonna end the night so everything went pretty good today we didn't do as much as we expected but we do have some cool videos coming some cool edit ideas and everything and there's gonna be a lot of cool content being pushed out on the channel so make sure to stay tuned to that you're gonna see more of Hellbound SS and Hellbound C7 along with like all the other cards we have and everything. And we have some really cool things planned. So just make sure to stay tuned to the channel. Let us know what you like to see too, because of course it's, you know, it's for everybody. So let us know what you like to see. Do you like to see car content? Do you wanna see more fishing stuff? Do you wanna see more day in the life type of activities or just basically everything we do in general? Let us know so we can uh, continue to make content that you guys wanna watch. And with that, guys, we'll let you guys go. Have a good night, and we'll see you guys in the next one.